I've got in my hand Michael Harding's Cobalt Teal paint. I absolutely love this colour. But I have to confess, I haven't worked terribly hard at mixing it with other colours because I find it quite delicious on its own. So it's time I had a look at what happens when I put it with other things. Here it is by itself. One of the things I love about it most is that it's a mid-value cool green, blue-green. It's just lovely. Obviously it's great for water, it's great for local colour, but I'm thinking it's probably great at lots of other things I just haven't discovered yet. I love it because I can cool a colour down without darkening it too much. Normally I'd be adding ultramarine or thalo blue to cool down a mix, and they, they're such dark values. The thing with this that I enjoy is that it doesn't take things quite so dark when I add it. So let's see what happens if I put it with cadmium yellow lemon. Wow, lime green, that's just great. Really strong color. Um, I could soften that with some white quite happily. It's a real kind of apple green. So the potential with a nice clean blue biased yellow is fantastic for these really bright, zingy, fresh spring greens. Um, there's lots you could do with that with varying amounts of yellow. I want to see what happens if I desaturate it now with its opposite colour. So I'm going to go with some magenta. Ooh, that's lovely. A really deep, soft, smoky blue. Not what I expected entirely. That's a really lovely colour. I'm not sure how I would have created that out of my usual six colours. Um, that's really surprising. That's lovely. Really velvety blue. I guess if I add more of the magenta, it's going to swing more towards purple. But it's a soft, natural purple, a bit like a mineral violet or something. That's lovely. More gentle than I expected, and the value hasn't gone right down. Again, if I was using an ultramarine or something here, we'd be so inky dark that I'd be having to add white to get the colour to show. Whereas with this, it's a really lovely mid-value all by itself. So that's really quite fascinating. I might just try add it into the neutral grey. Michael's made a lovely neutral grey here. So I'm going to just stick some in there and see what happens. kind of paintings I tend to make are quite interested in recording atmosphere and capturing light so we often need softer greys and that's a that's a lovely kind of soft green grey it's still got life in it it's making the neutral grey look quite warm beside it I don't know how that's coming over on the camera but the patch of neutral grey that I put down in the first place actually now looks like a sort of warm elephant grey beside that lovely teal green I might just put some white with it so that you can see it on its own. Titanium white, keeping that coolness to it. It's just a really pretty turquoise. I'm very fond of it. <laughs> um, I'll try it with a warmer white. Michael's new warm light yellow. It's a lovely golden peachy sunshine colour. I'm going to try a little bit of the cobalt teal in there. That's less intense, much softer than with the titanium. Much more neutral, earthy colour. So for a colour that started out really vibrant, it's not taking a huge amount to soften it back into greys, but it's making really nice interesting greys, colourful greys, which is what we're all after. I'm going to just try it with cadmium red and see if it will go to a brown or what exactly is going to happen. Put a bit more of the teal out here. So I've got cad red light here which is such a powerful colour. I'm going to use a tiny bit here. And mix it into the teal. It is going to a brown.
again it's it's always retaining that lovely turquoise tint even with quite a lot of red in it you can still feel that cool green underneath it's lovely I'm really enjoying the mid value that it isn't sinking too dark it's not going inky I can still see the colors in them it's a really lovely color to play with could play all afternoon with that it's great mm -hmm. 